reversal. And there it is, eight defeat by Devin Nicole. And that might do it. She does not go for the cover. She's encouraging her opponent to get back up on the feet. She's got more punishment that she's looking to unleash, apparently. And oh, and punishment, there was a big spear. And wait a minute. No. Oh. Amber O'Neill duck underneath. There's one in the chamber right there. That sit out face play. Amber O'Neill, who wasn't involved in this match at all, was really here earlier in the day for a signing. Just snuck back out. The bullet babe has is calling the shots here. Now it is both Rodriguez and O'Neill. I should say O'Neill Gallows is uh, just delivering blows on top of Devin Nicole. And now they're both double teaming her. There is no security coming out here to stop this either. Now you have O'Neill just bad mouthing her. Oh. Just tosses her out of the. Oh my. And there it is, the sign of the Bullet Club. The, the gunshots to Devin Nicole, who looked like she had this thing won after eight defeat and a massive spear to nail uh, Rodriguez. O'Neal, for whatever reasons, decided that she wanted to stick her nose in this particular match. We're back at the Roar event on March 13th, 2015. As you see the young lady sprinkling her gypsy dust right there is the Priscilla Kelly and this match will mark her in-ring debut. And I'm not sure if there's a much tougher scenario that one can step into than to get in the ring with, uh, with what I would call some veterans. This will be somewhat of a baptism under fire for that young lady right there, but she says that she's ready, she's trained exceptionally hard, and she has an incredibly gifted partner who is coming to the ring right now. So it could spell a recipe for an upset. So here she comes right now, her partner, who we saw in the last event, the debut Roar Match, Devin Nicole who is taking on one half of her opponents tonight, uh, Amanda Rodriguez, who is going to be partner up with the same woman who helped jump Devin Nicole at the end of the night, that being the uh, bullet babe, the original bullet babe, Amber O'Neill Gallows. Make sure that we get her name right. She has been uh, schooling people that she is Miss Gallows now. She wants that acknowledged. You see the referee taking uh, Devin Nicole's briefcase and sitting out ringside. I wonder where she keeps in the briefcase. I, mean, I, don't, I wouldn't imagine that you would be doing law practice and things out at this point in your day or your night for that matter. And here we go. Amanda Rodriguez. And you know, I need to point out that there is a, a vast experience difference that is taking place between the four ladies right here. As we see, the uh, the uh, young lady, Amanda Rodriguez, making her step into the ring. Showing herself off for the crowd there, waving at her opponents. The year's experience here is uh, Devin Nicole and Amanda Rodriguez both sport roughly about three years apiece, but the uh, plus side on both young ladies' resumes is that they are well-traveled competitors. So the three years that they have, when you compare that to uh, the vast majority of independent wrestlers, would probably equate to six or seven years worth of ring time. Take that into account with Amber Gallows, who is a near 16-year veteran of the ring. And uh, you would have to say that Priscilla Kelly is in a very tough position in her debut. But it only serves to show the uh, 
the heart and the guts that the Priscilla Kelly is even willing to step into this environment with that young lady right there. Miss Gallows as she palms the camera. That is uh, veteran Wiles not taking the rushed approach to this, taking her time making the opponents wait. She is going to get every second of her entrance in before anything takes place. The there we have the uh, symbol of the Bullet Club, that little toss up of the two sweet the two of them. Of Amanda Rodriguez and Amber O'Neill Gallows. Double A's, Amanda and, and Amber. Or maybe we'll call them the Bullet Babes for simplicity. There we have it. Devin Nicole, D. Priscilla Kelly taking on who I'm going to just refer to right now as the Bullet Babes. Amber Gallows, Amanda Rodriguez. Should be an interesting match. Rodriguez is, well, they're discussing uh, strategy right now, but she looks like she's more than willing to start this thing off. Devin Nicole has already stepped out, which was the uh, pick that I had in my head for this. And I can only imagine the strategy would be to start off with the, uh, the veteran of the two. And Nicole is uh, calling out the, the instigator of the beatdown of the last uh, confrontation that they had. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out on this YouTube channel, Kick in the Guts. Devin Nicole called out her opponent, Amber Rod excuse me, Amber Gallows. And uh, she was more than willing to accept shoulder block in the corner. She has answered that challenge and she is delivering on the goods and she chokes her out via her foot. Now there's a quick kick in the abdomen. She's off the turnbuckles. Quick hop over to a sunset flip out of the corner. Two count. There's Devin Nicole. There's a roll up very quickly. Second two count. Takes the arm bar to modify an Oklahoma roll. Two count for a third time. See, Devin Nicole is looking to win this match, possibly to show up the Bullet Babe, and she is no longer willing to step into the ring. Rushes out and makes the tag to a partner who gets caught in a drop to her. Front face lock by Devin Nicole, neutralizing the opponent as she takes over, tags off to the Priscilla Kelly, and this is her first official confrontation in a ring anywhere. Twisting armbar into a wrist lock by Amber Amanda Rodriguez. This is going to be tough with two A's on the same team. She's holding her down. Nice reversal. That is the practice and the training, but you see Rodriguez is able to take it right back around in short order. She's almost clutching down on that wrist, leading her around the ring. That's what happens when you're able to neutralize a body part. She can control the body. And as we saw earlier, a reversal by Kelly and a re-reversal by Rodriguez takes her to the ropes using the hair chop across the chest. Shoots her in right into her corner as the smart wrestler that she is. Kicking the back, kicking the belly. Kick again. That's Rodriguez just beating her down. And now you see Gallows putting her foot up on the uh, turnbuckle. Head first, right into the soul of Amber Gallows. See, uh, she's picking her back up, holding her into the turnbuckle, keeping her on her dead side of the ring. I don't want to act as a mind reader, but I would have to assume that they have picked out what they assume to be the weak link of the team, and now they are going to work on the Priscilla Kelly. It is sound strategy by the Bullet Babes. That is not an official name, by the way. That is just what I'm calling. Kicking the stomach. The referee's trying to, trying to help her help out of this. Keep those double teams to a minimum, but he really can't do anything about it because 
Rodriguez and Gallows are smart enough in what they're doing that they do not exceed the five count. They are not breaking the rules, however, how aggressive they may be perceived to be. But choke. Well, I should say they are bending the rules significantly, but they haven't broken them. Broken it. He keeps calling for the uh, count of five, but he is unable to disqualify as they are able to let go before he reaches it, which is doing nothing but frustrating Devin Nicole. Both ladies in the ring, half a cell Kelly in, they shoot into the ropes, kick in the stomach, and here comes the double team, double smash, kick a head right back into that man. They might have knocked a cold too. You see, Nicole is ready to come into the ring, reaching out for that tag. But Gallows is just cutting it off, raining right hands onto the side of the head of the Priscilla Kelly. Screaming in her face. And screaming at the referee. I think it's very clear that Gallows doesn't take anything from anybody while she's in the ring, the referees included. And uh, Priscilla Kelly, who is the uh, volunteer to kind of enter herself and aid Devin Nicole in this confrontation between Rodriguez and Gallows, there's a, there's a little bit of a cheat, and she's proud of herself as uh, Rodriguez draped the throat across the rope, pulling down. But uh, Kelly is trying to come in and help Devin in her war, or her fight, so to speak. But uh, he's having a hard time. Snap Mare, right down into the, uh, the mat there. Comes over, does Rodriguez with a rear chin lock. Fires it on, clutches it down with aggression. You can hear Gallows telling her that she has got it. She is just holding that thing down. Kelly does not want to slap that mat too many times. She may be perceived as a tap out. We don't want that. Kelly's showing a lot of heart here. She's firing back. She's trying to get up to her feet. Elbow to the gathering. Second one. Tried to run off but got caught in the hair and that is the veteran wow that you have with the Amanda Rodriguez goes for the cover. Very good by the gypsy. She comes out before the one got. She didn't waste any time trying to kick out of it, but she's in a bad, bad way right now. She's got to get to her corner. But you have to respect the tag team acumen of Rodriguez and Gallows as they have cut the ring off between Devin Cole and Priscilla Kelly. They have not allowed Kelly to get anywhere near to her partner, and that is the way a great tag team is supposed to do. If Roar ever goes into a tag team division, I would have to give them my vote for a top seed in any tournament that might be uh, created. Amber Gallows just ran her back and forth across the ring, face first into the turnbuckle said, Kelly is showing a lot of heart. There's a lot of heart being able to take this punishment. Devin Nicole is practically begging for her partner to get up and make the tag, but she can't make it right now. Gallows and Rodriguez have just been too sharp reversal by Kelly. Charges in, but she catches the legs. I said it about Rodriguez, and now I have to say it for Gallows. That is the veteran acumen. And she catches her with the reversal and the legs with a figure four headlock right there on the top rope. Kick through the ropes. And she has been just neutralized on every front by these two young ladies. Snap Mare takes it right there, smack dab in the center of the ring with a full Nelson applied on the mat. Goes through. And now the full dust is applied face down on the mat. Butterfly lock. She extends out of the full dust and into a flips over into the butterfly lock. She's just taking her from at least three different submission moves, one after the other. And as uh, you see Rodriguez out there jarring at the fans who've been throwing toilet paper. Oh, slap across the uh, back by Gallows. I think Rodriguez is getting highly upset. And her, her 
yelling at the fans as the strike to run. There's a roll up by Kelly. Almost had a three, but the distraction of uh, Rodriguez arguing with the fans took, a, took the ref's attention away. She could have potentially scored a pinfall. The Gallows got out, charges through, catches it with a huge clothesline, and we are now back to square one as it relates to Priscilla Kelly. Takes her into the turnbuckles. She's charging in, catches a reverse elbow by Kelly. Never charges back. Drop kick. Catches the mark. That might have rung Gallows' bell. Like she's in excessive pain. That might have been a really sharp drop kick. Kelly is trying to get her way over to the to her corner. She has taken quite a beating, but she is still fighting and still in this match. She is almost to her corner, looking to make the tag. The both of them score, and here comes Devin Nicole and Rodriguez in the ring. First elbow. She said she's been holding the pinned up frustration. Catches her with a back splash in the corner. Drop kick. Quick roll through. For a cover. Hooks the legs, but unable to keep her down. Rodriguez just breaks free. Jawbreaker. Smart tag off to a partner. Having the calls sticking in there, ducks underneath the clothesline, comes off the ropes, big charge, and spear. That's a little bit of that football background that Devin Nicole has, too. And she is frustrated. She's upset, or maybe surprised, that the spear didn't do the job and hold Gallows down. Tags off to Kelly, and now they're looking to try to utilize a little bit of double teaming on their side of the fence. She's holding her up in the full muscle, sizes her up, catches her with a forearm, but she missed the mark and hit her partner. Kelly didn't know. She just got caught in the guts. There's one in the chamber. And that may do it. That one mover has won many a match for Gallows. And it's won this one as well. O'Neal Gallows and Amanda Rodriguez have scored the win. The revenge that was being sought by Devin Nicole has come up a bit short in this endeavor. And uh, I think the fans are expressing their displeasure by tossing all the toilet paper around and the screamers. And now you see Amber just running through the crowd throwing toilet paper on everybody else as uh, we see Gallows down in the corner of the screen laughing. There she is, pointing the finger, laughing at the uh, at the opposition. It was a very, very tough fight, a hard-fought battle. You have to give Kelly a lot of credit of her resistance in her debut, but it was a little short. I don't know why the referee is even bothering He's already called it over the big forearm shot, big shot. Second forearm, second shot, another forearm, make it three. This is wearing out. Underneath the clothesline does the rolls, put it up for a Samoan drop. Countered by Knuckles. Several forearms. Promotional consideration presented by the following. Get your nerd-themed mystery box delivered to your door once a month, every month, with Nerd Block. Outstanding gear, toys, and collectibles. Choose your nerd theme, get your package, open your block, and let the fun begin. Visit nerdblock.com and get started. That's nerdblock.com. Nerd Block. <laughs> 